an Espresso Virtuo next. The Pinnacle of Science and Engineering. Let's make some coffee. Still waiting. Oh no, what do we have here? There's water coming out where it shouldn't. It's getting all over my table. At least it made coffee. That's all I can ask. But is it worth it? Let's find out what's going wrong. You'll need a set of security Torx bits. You can get them from Harbor Freight. Use some kind of pry tool, there's two tabs. The top is held on with plastic clips. You gotta pry each side. You can see some evaporation on the underside of the lid. That could cause damage. Be careful, if you let the thing heat up, the screws are going to be really hot and it might burn you. It might be a good idea to let it cool off. This is where the water comes out. It goes into a spindle with a spinning gasket. You can use a 16 millimeter socket. I tried taking apart the assembly, but it's nearly impossible. I couldn't figure it out. This is the retainer. This is the gasket. This is a one-way reed valve that keeps dirty water from feeding back. Let's look at the issue again. After taking everything apart, I still couldn't figure out where the water was coming out. It has to come out of that gasket. I pressure tested everything. The water gets everywhere. It starts running down underneath the heater block. And when it gets full, it starts leaking out the side and running down. You can see the water's collected on the tray under the heater block. And once you open the lid, it just dumps out everywhere. It even goes down the back side into the underside where all the electronics are. This is a terrible design if it leaks. The heater block's 120 volt. So if the water gets down there, who knows what'll happen. Not to mention the water from the leak could evaporate and short out the switch above it. So what's the verdict after three weeks? 
I'd stay away from it. I returned this and got a real espresso machine. If you really want a Nest espresso, get the original line. It's much better. Thanks for watching and subscribe.